What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I want to do another video on wind turbines, so today we're going to get into what is a VAWT. A VAWT, or V-A-W-T, is a vertical axis wind turbine. With these turbines, the main rotor shaft is oriented vertically instead of horizontally, which you see much more frequently. Vertical axis wind turbines have been around for a while. Early versions like the Savonius, the Darius, and the Gyro Mill were plagued by torque variations or ripples on each revolution of the turbine. They also suffer from large bending forces on the blades, so that's why newer designs use a helical blade pattern to alleviate some of those problems. Vaults generate power the same way that horizontal axis wind turbines do when air passes over the airfoils or turbine blades and it's converted into rotational momentum which spins a generator and produces alternating current. So what advantages would a vertical configuration have over horizontal? Well, the generator and the gearbox are located at the base of the turbine, allowing for easier maintenance, as you see in this picture. Some VOTs don't even have a gearbox. Instead, they directly drive the generator from the rotor. Vertical axis turbines don't need to be oriented toward the wind since they're omnidirectional, or in other words, they spin with horizontal winds from any direction. So they don't require yaw and pitch control like you see on this horizontal axis turbine in the picture. Vots can work in turbulent or gusty winds, lessening the need for towers and decreasing the fatigue on the gearbox. That also means they can be used where horizontal axis turbines can't be used, like rooftops and urban areas. Vots can be grouped much closer together, like this installation you see at Caltech. Because of that fact, they can produce up to 10 times more power per square meter or per square mile than a horizontal axis wind turbine farm. They're also measurably quieter than horizontal turbines. So that all sounds really awesome. Why aren't these things used more often? And that's because they're still plagued by a host of problems. The geometry is very complex, and VOTs suffer from a wide variation of angle of attack. This can cause stalling problems, and also the blades take much higher stress and fatigue because of the, this variation of angles. While vertical farms have proven to make as much power or more than horizontal farms, they've shown to be less reliable. They're also substantially less efficient because with a horizontal axis turbine, all the blades are producing power because the wind is hitting all of them at the same time. With a vertical axis wind turbine, only the couple blades on the front are producing torque at any given time, and the rest of them are just along for the ride. And last but not least, some designs suffer from self-starting problems in low wind speeds. The good news is there's something about the vertical axis wind turbine design that continues to draw engineers to try new things and to continue to make improvements. New blade designs and composite materials have already started to overcome some of these inherent weaknesses. So hopefully someday we'll see these things commonly on rooftops just like we do with solar panels. That's all for this time. Be sure to hit subscribe in the bottom right corner for more cool content in the future.